Hey y'all, it's Caitlin, and as of the day I'm filming this, it is October uh, 17th, which is when the Nightmare Before Christmas box came out. Now, I have heard that this is going to be their last box, and if that's true, I'm very sad. Because <laughs> I actually do like the little Disney boxes. They're definitely not as good as the uh, old Disney Treasure subscription boxes, but at least there's something, you know? But uh, if one property for them to go out on I think they chose a good one so Nightmare Before Christmas theme now I've already opened it because um, I was actually not feeling very well this morning at all like I was kind of sick um, so I I knew my mom and my aunt were going out shopping I was like can you swing by the mall for me <laughs> real quick uh, so they did, and when they got back, they wanted to know what was in it. So I didn't open it. I haven't necessarily opened any of the packages besides the tin, because I wanted to see it. But I love how they got it looking like a little Christmas present. I think that is so cute. I'm keeping this box. I am so freaking keeping this box. So let's just go ahead and get to the one thing that everyone was happy for. Or at least I was happy for it. We got Sandy Claus. So they actually did put Sandy Claus on the uh, bottom of the box but for some reason they only have the logo I mean this looks like the plainest backing to a Funko Pop box that I have ever seen I mean at the very least put some artwork from the movie or some or something you know no if they're not going to put the other figures that's in the line which I don't understand why they didn't do but whatever let's go ahead and get Sandy out we got the Hot Topic sticker. I missed that golden sticker. No one will definitely never see that golden sticker again. That's sad. Uh, okay. Yeah, clamshell packaging for... Yeah, I guess Santa's a little bit... Or Sandy, I don't know. Is a little bit heavier than your average pop. Let me get this together just so it doesn't go everywhere. But uh, here is... Sandy Claus. So, you know, pretty simple pop, but I'm actually very happy that they finally made the Santa from Nightmare Before Christmas. Because, you know, he's important too. So, oh, Barbara's name's crossed out. She was bad, apparently. Hers is the only name that's crossed out on this entire... It's got a list of kids' names, and Barbara is the only bad one that got crossed out. All the others have a check mark on them. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, I do not see a Caitlyn though, so oh well. But <laughs> this thing looks very, very cute. I wouldn't say it's as cute necessarily as the one from like Rudolph, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or anything like that, or even the new what Peppermint Lane or something that I think Funko's calling it. Uh, I think those look cuter, honestly. But he's a he's like a secondary character in. I was about to say main, but no. <laughs> but this guy is a, you know, important character in Nightmare Before Christmas, so I think it's about time that they finally made him. So, yay. Uh, I love this little guy. He's going into the Christmas displays for sure. So, there is Sandy Claus. I'll put him back in his box later. So, we have what I would consider to be the one filler, yet very unique. I, I mean, if we had to have a filler, this was a cool filler. I didn't know it was coming in this little pouch. So we have this little burlap sack, or at least burlap looking sack, with Oogie Boogie sewn into, onto it. And then when you open it up, there are his dice. So this is really cool. These dice, you can tell, are made pretty cheaply. They're hollow on the inside, you can tell. Um, but I think it's really, really cool. The only <laughs> Because it's so dark, like, if you were to actually play with these, you'd be like, what did I roll? Hang on, I gotta check. But, it's really cute. There's, like, a different skull for every one of them. Like, each of the six sides have its own unique skull-looking face, and I freaking love it. <laughs> these are so cute-looking. I mean, I actually really love these. I mean, again, they're a filler item, pretty much, but also they're kind of like a replica item, so... I love these. I freaking love these dice. I don't know why, but I love it. So, next one is Funko's newest uh, line, which are the Funko Racers. I don't know if these are pullbacks or not, 
Uh, if so, it would be a little bit cooler. But uh, I will say one thing about the packaging, though. So you can see Jack Skellington in his little car, and it's like a casket-shaped car. But uh, there's about, can you see how much room is behind him here? They could have pushed him back a little further in the box, I think, and made it so that you can see him better from the edge of the box. Because from where I'm, like, if you look at it straight on, you can barely see, like, this little skull thing that's on his grill or the little uh, lights. I think they're supposed to be lights. Yeah, they're, I think they're supposed to be, like, little Christmas lights in the back of it, or in the front of it, rather, for the headlights. You can barely see them on the actual car in the package, but as it looks really cute, I'm actually tempted to open this up. I'm really tempted to open this up, uh, but I don't know if I should or not. Hmm. You know what, hell, I'm never gonna sell this thing, and if I do get rid of it, I'll probably give it to one of my cousins. So let's just go ahead and get this open to see what it looks like. Y'all can yell at me in the comments if you want, but I'm opening the thing. Okay, how do I open this? <laughs> you know how long it's been since I've opened a collectible that wasn't like a statue or something? It's been a while. Long, long, long. Okay. There we go. And it's got a plastic noose around the neck, which is fitting. There we go. A Rosewell. <laughs> Oops. I nearly stabbed myself. That's not a good thing. But, yeah. So these wheels, as you can see, they're very, very loose. Which is good if you have, like, a little kid to play with them or something. So, if you're someone who's, in, who's like, a Funko collector and you have a little kid, I'd say this is probably a good little toy to give them. I mean, you can keep it yourself for a collectible, but it would also very much work for a kid's toy. Because I've been saying for a while, I kind of wish the actual Pop Rides rolled <laughs> or whatever. But uh, here we are. So it looks like his coffin sled with the little skull on it. It's not zero. <laughs> it's not zero. It looks like a reindeer skull, which is really cool. And it's got a little bag in the back with a reef. This is really, really cute. And little bitty chibi looking Jack Skellington. It's so freaking adorable. I love it. Oh, that's cute. I'm really happy I took this out of the box because I think it's adorable. Uh, one of my cousins is going to try and grab that, I know. But I have so much trash to pick up because I never clean up after videos. I always wait. Now, for the mystery mini, I'm glad so so happy that they brought back the tin however there's that little sticker label that's usually on the outside of these of the plastic wrap that these things are wrapped in but this time it was on the inside and you can see i had to kind of like rip it off but it didn't fully come off so i'm actually gonna have to soak this in water to get the little leftover from the sticker but i love how this looks you can see christmas town door the easter door Valentine door, and then this is supposed to be like the Thanksgiving door. I think that's such a cute idea for them to do that. Uh, and then inside, you know, it was wrapped in the black trash bag looking thing, but we have the pumpkin jack-o'-lantern, uh, jack-in-the-box. I was about to say jack-in-the-box first, but I said jack-o'-lantern. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. So, I am actually very happy with every item in this box, which I haven't said for actually a very long time, so I'm very happy. So, you guys let me know what you thought of this box. Uh, if it's the last one, which it seems it is, uh, do you guys think it was a good one to land on? Cause, or to go out on? Because I do. I think this is wrong. I think this is awesome. I absolutely love it. So, anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, like always, it's a community, not a competition. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.